Will Kristaps Porzingis return to the Knicks this season? Interesting news released on Thursday in a report by the New York Daily News. When asked about KP's progress, Coach Fisdale stated Kristaps Porzingis was shooting and light jogging, but that was about it. Nothing else to report. Right after that article releases, KP goes to his IG story to post pictures of what looks to be him sprinting around a track. After hearing about the photos on Friday, Coach Fisdale clarified his previous statement stating that I didn't realize he went out to the track and that he wasn't doing that at the Knicks training facility. Fisdale would also say that the two had spoke and that they are now on the same page. Now I do think this whole thing was way overblown. Maybe Fisdale didn't have the specifics on KP's rehab, and maybe KP's IG response was in reaction to the overreaction of the news by other news outlets, rather than a negative reaction to Fis what Fisdale said. Either way, I think the real question is, should KP even return at all, given the situation that the Knicks are in, trying to build through the draft and acquire better picks? Check out this conversation that I had with Jay Ellis last month on Post Game Live and let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. We will pick out a few select comments in the comment section and respond to it on tomorrow night's Post Game Live after the Knicks vs Raptors game at 6.30pm Eastern. So Charles was asked um, in regards to, he's always asked, I don't know why they go to him to ask about the Knicks. Because, because they know. Yeah, I, th I think so. They know. I think you know so. what I mean. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah, they, they know he's he's gonna give you that rough sound bite, you know, trash in the Knicks basically. But um so they asked Charles about the outlook for the Knicks, and Charles was basically saying, um, he thinks it's best that KP sit the whole year. And, and that we we basically not not tank, but he, he said basically to get a better draft pick. There's no point in KP coming back. Um so Jay Ellis and the chat, what do you guys think about that, man? What do, you, what do you guys think about Charles's comment? I mean, it depends on the goal. Like, you're trying to attract free agents, then you want you want uh, KP to kind of play to make to show them that you know what he still has, he's still healthy, and he can still go a little bit. I'm not gonna try to rush anything though. I mean, like, I want to make sure he's 100 percent healthy. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of ways you could look at it, right? Because there's so much, there's so much at stake here, right? Number one, is he ready to come back? Number two, do they feel it's important to audition, quote unquote, for the free agents to show them that this guy's healthy? You know what I mean? Come play with him as as let him be the Robin to your Batman, Katie. You know what I'm saying? Or or whoever whoever that may be. Um, also, contractually, does KP want to come back to show that he's worth that max deal? Oh man, there's like another there's another wrinkle to this. Oh man, yeah. I wish we had Nick's film school on here. Because I think he to get a certain amount of money he has to play at least thirty something games this season. Oh, Alex Collins says the difference between a seven point five million qualifying offer and a four point five million qualifying offer. Yeah, that, oh got it, yeah. He's talking about the amount of games he plays. Okay. Okay, okay. I got you. You have to play a certain amount of games to get a qualifying offer. If okay. Shout out to that Alex. Amount of games, then he doesn't get that 7.5 million qualifying. Alex says KP would need to play in at least 34 games or 20 2400 minutes this season to meet starter criteria and that would be the difference between 7.5 and, and 4.5 million in a qualifying offer. So, um shout out Alex Collins, man, my guy from uh, Ireland, all the way from Ireland, yeah. checking in with us. Yo, it's, it's it's a very interesting dynamic because it's like, does it really make sense for him to come and play if we have nothing to play for? Like, if there's 15 games left, does it really even make sense to bring him back? I don't even think, I don't nah, even think nah, so. Nah, not if it's 15, nah. That's what I'm saying. I, I think it all depends. It all depends on, on when, he, when he's, when he's going to come back. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? But I would just say... Unless he's at, until he's absolutely one hundred percent ready, he looks good in practice. Then come back. But other than that, I might still because even even then, right? If it's fifteen games left, I would still play him because it's not like he's gonna be like top tier KP when he comes back, right? right? He hasn't played ball in a year, and they're still talking minutes restriction. Yeah, it's gonna be minutes restriction. 
like the practice being practice versus a game is a different beast. So at least if you're getting like ten games of like an NBA game to get something under your belt to kind of like build yourself back up again, I would still I would still do it. It's not I don't think it's gonna be like such a big deal where he's gonna affect the game so much. Like he's not gonna be K he's not gonna be the real KP when he first gets back. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting, man. I I hate see that, man. When a guy coming back from injury and he's like a shell of himself for a little bit, you know what yeah. I mean? The, the spotlight is gonna be on him. Yeah, he's um, like, yeah, split back. Yeah, Chris Dada says Embiid sat out two years. Don't risk it, you know. He, yeah, of course. The courts don't risk anything. It's, it's if, if he's healthy. Yeah. Facts, facts. Yeah. Conquer Fitness says I think it makes sense to bring him back with just limited minutes. Um, Bump Tune said he just well, you just want to see him play. I think it's interesting. OC says he agrees. No need to play KP this year. It's not like they're making the playoffs. Mm. You know, it, it's interesting, man. I don't know. I don't know because it's like like I, I agree with Bump Tunes. Everybody wants him back to see what he can be. But on the flip side, it's like how much is that really going to help us? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shooter911 says just play the Rooks. If we lose, so be it. Above the rims, thinks that our our record will dictate that, and I agree with that. Record will will probably dictate it. Do you think KP is gonna have an effect on the game though, for real, for real, like no. this year? Nah, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think it matters that much. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think it really matters that much, to be honest with you. I don't. I don't really think it matters that much. But anyway, man, we listen. We, we wish him a speedy recovery. Absolutely. Um, hope he comes back. I can't wait to see what he looks like with Knox and them dudes. Yeah. Money That's Mitch on the, on the Mitch. perimeter. I, I want to see Money Mitch, man. And hey, you you alluded to it earlier. If you can get it, if he can get it going together, True. then yeah, it's good. But I still want to point out one thing. Yep. Hazonius is still a bum. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's going to stay like that. I know. I know. <laughs> yo, CP, I know Luigi's your man and everything, but that dude, nah. I, I say, uh, 